Hey, hello my friends. This is Sylvie Curry again, Lady of Q, and I am in my kitchen. I'm going to be cooking today a Mediterranean style whole chicken. That means lots of garlic, lots of rosemary, lots of onion, lots of lemon, olive oil, all those flavors. And it's going to be a juicy, very good chicken because I dry brined it. And dry brining tends to um, result in a chicken which is more moist and flavorful. I put this in the refrigerator probably about 16, 18 hours ago. So it's been in there for a while. Typically, my dry brine recipe I use on turkey for the holidays. And it's actually a three-day dry brine for turkey. Since the chickens are so much smaller, it's not going to take as long. So hopefully we can get that flavor melded all through. And one of the things you can keep on your recipe list is my dry brine mixture. We're back. Now it's time to put our chickens together before they go on the rotisserie grill. We've got Mediterranean style grilled, rotisserie grilled whole chickens. I dry brined the chicken previously in a uh, dry brine um, seasoning mix and I'll have that recipe um, available to you. That was for about 16 to 18 hours. I washed off the chickens because I didn't want all that the herbs and things like that to be on the outside, mainly because um, on the rotisserie they have a chance of becoming um, burnt before the chicken's done. Even though these are brined, I'm still going to put a little bit more salt on the outside because I did wash it. And then I'm going to put my garlic olive oil mixture and being careful not to get some of the garlic joints on there, but this is this, this has been um, marinating oh, for a good couple of hours, so that should be good to go. I'm going to stuff this bird with some onions, some whole garlics, and some uh, lemons. I did put some of the squeezed lemon juice into the olive oil mixture. I also added about a teaspoon of salt to this mixture. And during the cook, I'm probably going to be brining that. Additional item that I'm going to put in this are some green olives that are stuffed with pimento and I'm going to add that to the cavity with the onions and the rosemary and the lemon. Here we go! Let's first get a little bit of salt on the outside of this bird and we're going to get some on the other side and then the inside also. Take some of my herbs and put them in there at this time, along with the onion. A couple of, oh, three garlic chunks. I'm going to put three in there. And some of the olives. Those will go in. And I think I'll put another sprig of rosemary in there. I love rosemary. I really do. Okay. Then I'm going to take my cord. Because I'm going to do this on the rotisserie, I need it to stay together. So I'm going to take it and um, pull together. This bird. Making sure I get that tight so none of the little parts pull away from each other and run the risk of uh, burning doing the, the cook. And I'll tuck those little weeding things under there so that they. Don't hang loose. Ooh. See, talk that quick and then it came apart. But I think once I put the rotisserie thing on there, it's gonna it's gonna hold. And then we'll 
take our olive oil mixture and base it on this bird. One of the things I do when I'm cooking in the kitchen, um, I usually put a plastic here down on the counter, especially with chicken, and that's to help with cleanup and to minimize the amount of cross-contamination that I might get with, uh, with the chicken. Doesn't stop anything, just minimizes it. Okay, so we have our trusted bird. Next step, when I come back, we're going to put them on the, the rotisserie and get to cooking. Okay, let's put some salt on this bird. It's already been washed, so the herbs and the dry brining are, are off. Then I'm going to stuff the inside with a lemon some onions, garlic, and rosemary twigs. And let's not forget our olives. The olives are briny, so that's going to add even more salt to the inside of that. Let's trust this bird. Tuck the wings up under so they stay in place. And then we'll give them a douse of some olive oil infused with garlic, lots of garlic. And there, we're good to go. Get a little douse of lemon juice on the outside of these birds. It's a little bit more flavor. Hey, we're good to go. Mediterranean chicken. The birds on the rotisserie um, spear, and I did manage to get both of them on there. I'm just hoping, 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 hoping. What do you do? Do 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 do. We're hoping that as it starts going around that they will hold. I got them pretty tightly um, held together, but we'll see. 
Um, I'll have this pan underneath them as they drip. And when I get them outside, I'll put some water in it because I don't want it to be too heavy right now for me to carry outside. And let's go rotisserie some Mediterranean style chickens. It's what's for dinner. I wish there was smell of vision because this is just smelling oh so yummy. Mediterranean style chicken with rosemary, lots of garlic, onion, lemon, olive oil, salt and pepper. Yum. This is Sylvie Curry, Lady of Q, and I'm in my other kitchen, outdoors. Here we're reducing the drippings from the drip pan uh, in hopes of getting a nice garlicky, lemony sauce. Yum!